You don't need me to tell you that it's been a very wet November. We're looking forward to the 10-day trend, and as we head into December, there are signs of a change to something a little drier next week. For the reason behind that, we need to look high up in the sky and the position of the jet stream. The current position, pretty active across the Atlantic and south shifted, allowing low pressure systems to barrel into the UK. But fast forward to the early part of next week and the jet stream has changed. It's much more wiggly. This more amplified jet stream pattern will bring a change. And here, high pressure may well be building. More on that in a moment. First of all, though, let's get through the rest of this week because there is more rain to come. If we rewind to the here and now and this lively jet stream, which allows low pressure systems to piggyback on the back of it and head towards the UK. This one brought some heavy rain on Wednesday and this little feature is just developing. As I record this, it's going to intensify through the rest of Wednesday and Wednesday night, helped by the little dip in the jet stream into quite a vicious area of low pressure, bringing some wet and windy weather uh, across Ireland and then into the UK as we head through Thursday. An active weather front, quite a narrow band, but a narrow band of heavy rain, which spreads across all areas during Thursday. So an hour or two of heavy rain and some very gusty winds as that moves through. There are Met Office yellow warnings in place. Not going to go through the details of those here. If you want more on that, see our other broadcasts, check out our website or our app. But needless to say, a wet and windy spell for pretty much all of us at some point on Thursday, thanks to low pressure up to the north. Now, further low pressure systems are gathering out west and they will bring a further spell of rain across the country this weekend. But I put the jet stream back on here because it's already starting to shift. Just this subtle change in angle means it's now no longer pushing directly weather fronts across the UK. And that subtle shift means the weather fronts don't move as fast. So we're not going to have this spread of heavy rain across the country like we will on Thursday this weekend. Instead, this weather front will kind of stagger across the country. And in particular, it's likely to develop what we call a wave. And that is uh, meteorologists' worst nightmare, really, because these waving weather fronts always bring a lot of uncertainty to the forecast. It will bring a spell of rain from west to east across the country on the, during the weekend, but the timing of that rain, well, is open to some doubt. And uh, these charts show that quite nicely. This is when we run the model several times. This is the uh, Met Office model and the European model. And each of these lines is representative of the position of that weather front at Sunday, in the middle of Sunday, and you can see there is quite what we call a spread, quite a range of where those weather, where that weather front could be, depending on which model is correct. So quite a bit of uncertainty about the position of that weather front and therefore where it's raining on Sunday. So what do we know about the weekend? Well, generally it'll be a dry start, and then we'll see that spell of rain coming into the west on Saturday, crossing the country, the clearance, that's the big question mark, when will it clear uh, across from the south on Sunday? So if you've got plans this weekend, the message at the moment, particularly for Sunday, is stay updated. Stay tuned. Don't expect your app to give different signals over the next couple of days before we kind of iron out the detail, depending on that waving weather front. Now, what happens beyond that? Well, that weather front will get out of the way. And then, well, the models tend to agree that we'll keep low pressure up to the northwest early part of next week. But Look at this. This is a chunky area of high pressure moving in behind those weather fronts. High pressure bringing drier weather. Will it last? There's low pressure up to the northwest, but as well as this high developing down to the southwest, there is also a large high that's been sitting across northern parts of Europe for uh, several days, if not weeks. And the combination of these two highs looks like dominating across the UK through next week. Which one actually wins will play a big part in the exact flavour of weather that we see next week. But either way, higher pressure means drier weather. So that's one thing we can be reasonably sure of. And we can be reasonably sure that high pressure will in one form or another control our weather as the probabilistic pressure trend shows. These are the dates going forward across the top and the previous computer model runs going down the side. Blue is low pressure, which will definitely be in control for the next few days. But quite a strong signal there that high pressure will take over as we go through the weekend and dominate for much of next week. Now, the position of the high, which of those highs really does control our weather, will then determine 
where our winds are coming from. And that will have an impact on the, the flavor, as I say, the type of weather that we see. Yes, it's likely to be drier, but is it likely to be colder, for example? Well, this chart just emphasizes the uncertainty in which of those highs will dictate. Well, we've got now blue representing a westerly wind and red representing an easterly wind. But look at the chin transition here as we go through the weekend into next week. The signal nowhere near as strong as it was for the pressure. So we're already into the realms of more uncertain conditions. There is a hint of a, a bit of an easterly there as we head into the early part of December, but it's a pretty weak signal. And we're not expecting any really strong easterlies uh, based on this. So yes, some uncertainty again. It goes back to which of those highs dictates and where exactly that high sits. But what we can say is that it's likely to be much drier next week. These charts, the UK is under here, represents rainfall of five millimetres or more in a 24 hour period for each of the uh, days for the rest of this week from the European model. The darker colours representing the higher probability of seeing that five millimetres or more. And you can see a strong signal for the next couple of days, plenty of rain and strong signal in the west on Saturday from that weather front. The uncertainty around that waving weather front across the southeast on Sunday. But generally, quite a bit of rain through the rest of this week, although Friday does look drier. Contrast that with next week's charts. Again, the same thing here each day, 24 hour period. Are we going to see five millimetres of rain or more? Probabilities here along the bottom. Notice a change in the colours, much paler colours indicating the probabilities instead of being up to the 60s, 70s are down to the 10s and the 20s. So a much, much drier week, far more likely as we go through it next week. But say that uncertainty with the position of the high and that's shown here in terms of the temperatures for any individual location. This is for near Leeds but uh, could have chosen almost anywhere. Showing these before again on the 10-day trend, the box and whiskers plots where the red one is the maximum temperature and the blue one is the minimum temperature and just look how they get larger. The box and whiskers indicating there's a lot more uncertainty as we go through next week because of the shape and the position of the high. We are likely to see things getting a little warmer through the weekend and then turning colder next week. But again, hovering around the average, but they, they could be much lower and they could be much higher. Just the position, again, of that high dictating what type of weather we get exactly next week. We know it's going to be drier, but could it be foggy? Could it be frosty? How much colder will it be? But in summary, we do know that it's likely to be much drier next week, which is good news after quite a bit of uh, issues with rainfall over recent weeks. It is likely to be colder than it has been through November and that it will be at the weekend. But exactly how frosty, how foggy, the details will depend on the position of the high, which we will firm up on as we go through this weekend. And we'll keep you updated, as always, across social media.